behind your back. So he's just gonna exhale all of his air, cross over, five figure fours. So he's here, hands straight out. He's exhaling all of his air because he's letting his ribs come all the way down. He braces his abs tight and then he just rotates over the top. So you guys are going to do five to ten exercises each side. When you're done, he's going to bring his foot back, hands to his side. Exhale all of his air again until he feels his ribs pull down. And then he's going to try to touch his toes. So he's going to reach towards each toe and then back to center. So look how he does a swivel at each side. So reach like a side reach. So he reaches, 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 but he's not bracing, he's just exhaling. You're gonna go five reps each side. Exercise three, a supine glute bridge and reach. So he's gonna lock his hips out all the way. Lock your hips out, reach all the way across your body. Reach, 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 back to center, and then hold. So you have to keep your hips high the entire time. You're gonna go five or 10 with the right, five or 10 with the left. The next one is called a single leg sit up. So one leg is out, he's gonna now exhale all of his air, brace his abs to pull his ribs down, and now he's gonna try to sit up while keeping that foot out. Why? Notice what he's doing. He's making sure that the pelvis and the rib cage are aligned. You're gonna get five to 10 reps each side as well. So I'll exercise four, he's gonna turn around, I'm sorry, five in a six point position, which you guys know this one a lot. You're gonna do a breathing cat cow, but here's the difference. You are going to exhale when you get into flexion or on the way up. So he exhales all of his air as he rises. So exhale, 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 keeping his arms and his lower leg straight. And then he's gonna inhale as he, as he kind of lowers his back or he gets into extension, right? Because he has that curvature. Here you go, five to 10 each side. So inhales, or I'm sorry, exhales, 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 right? Because we're trying to, again, align the hip and the low back and the ribs. Now, exercise number six, he's gonna do a bird dog. So he's gonna brace his abs tight. Make sure that he lifts first before he comes out. So now it's gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg. He's gonna hold, opposite leg, brace tight, maintain that neutrality, and then back to center. So he comes back to center. You're gonna get, again, five to 10 each side here, guys. When you're done, you're gonna do a kneeling T-spine sweep through, but he's gonna bring his hand to his head. And now from that position, he's gonna go all the way underneath, let the ground pull him into position, keeping his hips squared, and then he comes up to center. So you're gonna go five to 10 each side here. Next, this is called a child's pose and reach. So no, Kenny P, this is not yoga. This is actually breathing and restoring your posture. So his hips are gonna be attached to his heels the entire time. He's gonna look at his watch with his forearm on the ground on the left side. Now he's going to reach across with the right, keep going, keep going, and he's going to exhale all of his air again. Once you exhale, you're going to brace, so he braces tight, pulls the ribs down, and now you're just going to hold 20, 30 seconds as you constantly pull on the ground. So you will do this one or two times, 30 seconds each. Now, the last one, so he's going to maintain that six point position here. So he's going to be here, he's going to lift one leg out, so one leg comes all the way out. He's gonna do what's called a standing or a three-point scorpion, right? One, two, three points of contact. Now he's gonna to touch opposite, so he gets a little bit of bending in the spine or flexion. So he comes out, brings his foot all the way across. Yep, and then back to center. So he comes all the way out. Best of your mobility. 10, 15, 20 reps each side. Next exercise, before we pop to our feet, He's just gonna get five forwards head circles, five backwards head circles. Just get, again, some more movement into the cervical spine up by the neck, so you guys are kind of focused on one area. When he's done, we'll pop to our feet. So here, you're gonna do, again, a few more side bends. So now he's gonna reach as far as he can. So he's gonna reach all the way down, hold, and then back to center. So he's getting lateral flexion in the oblique, making sure the pelvis stays fixed. Comes all the way down again. Reach, 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 reach. Good, and then back to center. So from here, you guys know this drill. This is just more about blood flow. But if he was to face me, when we do our narrow stance squats at the beginning of training sessions, in your mind, you're trying to scoop your hip up underneath you. So he's gonna scoop his hip up, and now he has this little bend or this curvature here. That tells me that the ribs, and again, the hips are stacked, right, or the pelvis. So he's gonna get a squat in. From that position, you're just gonna get 15 to 20 squats in. 
Now, here's three drills that we use with the athletes all the time that you can really push the envelope on a little bit, if you will. So drill number one, he's gonna come up and hold, and you're just gonna get 10 to 15 internal external rotations while standing. So try, from, try to lock the hip, and now just from the knee. So each side, you're good. So then he just goes inside, and then outside, so there's a lot happening here, right? When we're sitting a lot more, we lose our stability, we lose our balance, our brains are more focused on one thing at a time because we don't have a lot of different things going on, so it's a little bit harder. Now he's gonna go five single leg ground touches each side. So he comes down and then back to center. Exercise number three is called single leg stance, probably my favorite exercise. He's just gonna step out with the left foot a little bit. You want to lean 90% of your weight over that left foot. Now, what are we looking for? Chin, knee, toe in a straight line. Is his knee internally rotated? Do you get adductor? Can he feel his oblique? Can he feel his hamstring? Is his torso squared? You're going to hold this for an accumulated three minutes each leg after you do the other drills here. So there you go guys, the human health hygiene. I suggest you do that every day. You can just increase volume over time. Thanks guys.